Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis from Dennis World of Bodybuilding. And today I want to talk about Dennis the Big Bad Wolf. Obviously, this picture is from a time where he was in his active prime of competing in bodybuilding. Probably from an off-season day or a day in the prep, at the beginning of prep, something like that. But that's not the topic of today. The topic of today is clearly... Is Dennis retiring um, from competing in bodybuilding shows from the pro stage? Um, I know that I did some videos about it already. Um, and to be honest, um, most of the people really wrote him off. Okay, Most of the people said that um, he won't ever compete again after the neck injury because of the muscle connection he failed to have afterwards after the injury because of the mm, nerves you know he had he didn't have a good muscle connection in the back area in the neck area i don't know if it was the left or right side but then he came back um and competed at the Arnold classic last year Obviously, he didn't look like he used to look, speaking of mass, but he did have a great conditioning, and he looked awesome. He did look awesome, and I think for defense, it was a great thing that he really showed, okay, I'm doing all the work, I'm in great shape, I like you see, you'll see the nerve damage I have, and the problems um, that I can't, that I can't get that big anymore to compete at the very very top pro level so nick from nick strength and power and by the way he looks like this right now so it's it's crazy to see him he looks like a fitness guy okay a fit guy obviously fitter than 99 percent of the people but he doesn't look like a pro bodybuilder and if you check his profile, um, most of the most of the pictures are from his prime day. This not, this not. And here he looks kind of small. You mean you know, small is always relative, but you can't you know compare him with those times where he looked obviously great. So Nick from Nick Strength and Power did a video on his last comments at the video with Rep One he did and. Basically, I want to talk about the stuff he told us there. So, he told us that, and this was only a couple of days ago, you know, the video is very, very recent. He said that he still has and will have two surgeries, one shoulder surgery. This is how it looks. Now. It's crazy to see him with that small, you know, relatively small size for him. So he said he will have two surgery, and one of them will be a so shoulder surgery, and one of them will be a m major biceps surgery. And the doc, the medicine guy that will do it for him, is very, very known in Germany in the bodybuilding scene. He did surgeries for many amateur and pro bodybuilders. Of course, obviously more for amateurs because there are just a few German pros. Okay. And there are many German amateurs. He regrets that he only did the Arnold set early season where he did his comeback, especially speaking about the fans and things were not clear if he will, if this is a start, you know, of a comeback or if it's an end type of comeback. He won the Arnold Classic in Ohio already, which was his top goal to reach in his bodybuilding career and he also got top three at the mr olympia contest he's very proud of himself he's 40 years of age he says that life goes on he will stay and he stays in the bodybuilding cult and currently he does some projects with gym 80 it seems like he'll do he'll open up his own gym even in, in germany he's not with his supplement sponsor anymore so you won't see this amex 
but you will see gym 80 international the gym equipment you know sponsor where you have corporations so you can say for 99 point 99 percent that he will not anymore compete okay he said that he will do a separate video with rep one when where he does his official statement about this but you can or you know you can almost say for hundred percent that he ret he retired so to say from competing so this was the news I hope I didn't talk too much I have to check how many minutes I talked um, yeah five minutes and 45 46 seconds this was the news I know that you probably saw the Nick Nick video um, I saw it too but I was like okay he got the point but maybe people want to hear some details um, the reasons why he he's retiring like I said um, there is just no um, senseful thing in competing again because he won't be there you know like he used to and he's he's not even even he couldn't even come back today because of the two major surgery he will have so it wouldn't make sense and Dennis is a professional guy you know it's like Ronnie Coleman you know you want to you were at the top you want to compete at the top if you're not at the top anymore you're retiring you know that makes the sense like Dorian did and things like that. I wish you all the best. Subscribe to my channel. Have a great weekend at the FIBO in Cologne in Germany. If you're there, comment below in the comments. If I have some German fans, I would love to hear that. Write it in the comments. Support me through Patreon. The link is in the description. Write me emails whenever you want with anything you want. And don't forget this. I probably shoot another interview with Greg Valentino, but I need interview questions. I don't want to ask the same stuff everybody asks when they talk with an athlete or a guy from the industry. So I want to have some crazy, crazy questions like the questions and stuff Larry from my channel always talks about. Bye.